Abaragani, what's the news? That's what we're going to be discussing today as we have two individuals that are going to take us down the path of Juneteenth. Joining us will be the president of Juneteenth Nevada, Ms. Deborah D. Evans. Thank you so much. I appreciate having, uh, you're having the time to speak with us and to allowing us to tell you a little bit about Juneteenth. The National Juneteenth Observance Foundation was founded back in 1994 by Reverend Ronald V. Myers, who was a medical missionary uh, who, who took the message of Juneteenth across the country for 25 years before his death. Uh, since that time, we have uh, a new president, Mr. Stephen Williams, and myself, and we are working on the national team as well as here in Nevada. Uh, in Nevada, we have been part of the community now since 2005. We have held events uh, since 2010, and in 2011, we were instrumental working with uh, Assemblyman Munford in uh, having legislation introduced for the uh, recognition of Juneteenth. And the bill was signed in 2011 by Governor Sandoval. And since that time, we, we just celebrated our 10th anniversary last week, or and we are currently uh, doing our 11th program, our 11th year of programming for education, entertainment, uh, enrichment within the community that, that we're in. We are seeking to give back as much as we can to the community, starting with the national legislation, which we are pushing uh, in Washington. Right now, it, is, it has been introduced in February 25th for uh, recognition of Juneteenth on the same level as the 4th of July. We are looking at the uh, passage of S-475 in the Senate, and we are looking at H.R. 1320 in the House. Uh, last year, we were 99 and 1 for a unanimous vote on Juneteenth, and, but of course, that one did not pass, so we did reintroduce in February, and we are seeking uh, recognition. We're asking everyone to uh, notify their congressmen and, and Congress, congressional representatives to uh, co contact them and tell them that you want to have Juneteenth recognized as a national holiday in, in this United States. It, it is not just a Texas holiday. It is a United States holiday. It is not just a black holiday. It is something that connects. It, is, it completes the cycle of, of freedom and independence. Uh, we are recognized not only in the United States, we are recognized in Japan, Guam, Ghana, and Mexico. Juneteenth recognizes June 19th, 1865. Uh, as the story has been told in the past, General Granger uh, went to Texas to free, free the slaves, and that is incorrect. We have an education group that has since discovered, first of all, Galveston is an island. He did not ride in on a horse. He came in on a ship. He was accompanied by uh, 6,000 soldiers, of which 3,000 were U.S. colored troops from Illinois, Indiana, Pennsylvania, and New York. They went out into the community to find uh, out that there were still enslaved people two and one half years after emancipation had been signed. They went back to the general and said, you will free these people or we will do something before we leave. In Galveston, Texas, Juneteenth is known as the day the black men with guns came to town to free us. Uh, in reality, Galveston, I mean, uh, General Granger was on his way to the Mexican-California border where they was going for Maximilian, who was executed June 19, 1867. Uh, Dr. Al Gourier, who's the chairman of Juneteenth, Nevada, how important is Juneteenth? Juneteenth is us celebrating us. Our celebration of Juneteenth 2021. So we're going to start on Friday, June 11th, 5 p.m. at the Water Street Plaza, Saturday morning, June 12th. We'll have exhibits of positive aspects of black life at Why Black Lives Matter. If you want to find out, come to the Whitney Ranch Recreation Center in Henderson, Nevada, on Saturday morning, June 12th, 
from 10 until 3. Maybe Ms. Evans can start with uh, sharing uh, some of the flag raising activities that, that we're going to be conducting in the various municipalities. And explain what a flag ceremony is for those that are listening as well as tuning in. The flag represents the horizon, it represents the blood that is shed, and it also recognizes Texas. Uh, the flag raisings will be in Henderson, Las Vegas, and also in Reno. Uh, we're, there, we're with, we have another group that we're working with. Uh, there would be a, at this time we're looking at six flag raisings. Uh, most oh, with the, in North Las Vegas that will start us off on June second. Actually, before we, before our official beginning, we're going to have a soft opening. They will give us a resolution. North Las Vegas City Council uh, will give us something on June second and have the first flag raising on June third, and we will go forward from that point. Uh, the flags will be raised by the Buffalo Soldiers. The Buffalo Soldiers. On June 13th, the 11th, 12th, Friday and Saturday, and Sunday the 13th, we're going to have an activity that we're calling Dashiki Sunday. In the West Las Vegas, the historic West Las Vegas area, we have found in the neighborhood of 40 churches. So what we have done is gone around to all of the churches in West Las Vegas and ask the ministers to have their congregation come to church on Dashiki Sunday, June 13th, wearing a Dashiki. Following the services, we are asking them to walk, fly, drive, or get to Congo Square. Where, where is Congo Square? Well, get to the West Las Vegas Arts Center following church on Sunday, June 13th, wearing your celebration wearing your dashiki so you can celebrate with us. And the people who assemble at the West Las Vegas Arts Center, 947 West Lake Mead Boulevard, well, we have a caravan that will be getting, beginning at the historic Moulin Rouge about 1130 on Sunday, June 13th, that will possess around the community and end up at the West Las Vegas Library and Art Center for the celebration of the drummer circle. So we'll see you Friday, June 11th, 5 p.m. at the Water Street Plaza for our festival. We'll see you Saturday morning, June 12th, at the Whitney Ranch Recreation Center in Henderson for our Why Black Lives Matter. And then on Sunday, we'll have our Dashiki Sunday celebration, our historic walk and caravan, and We'll end with our drummer circle and an Imani celebration. As we're discussing these many times and dates, what is the website that someone can go to and have this information put on their phones and so forth so they know what time, what place, and what? Yes, our website is www.juneteenthnevada.org. I can be reached at 888 509 NJOF, which is 6563, and they can reach me directly at extension 701. We want to encourage you to have your friends, family, to go to Juneteenth Nevada on YouTube. Go to YouTube and enter Juneteenth Nevada. At that site, you will find this program and other information. D will give you more specific information on not only how you can come and join us and participate, but it takes an effort to accomplish something like this. And for us, we know it takes a village to do anything constructive. So we need your help. We would like for you to volunteer as, as we continue. We haven't gotten to the main weekend of Juneteenth yet, but I do want to say we will need help and we need volunteers. So D is going to give you the information where how you can find out about the activities that we're conducting and where you can go if you want to join us as a volunteer. So now I'd like to go specifically to Saturday, June 19th, which will be the 10th Andrew, June 19th celebration at the West Las Vegas Library as well as the West Las Vegas Cultural Arts Center. You're going to be honoring some individuals this year. We are recognizing our people within the community for their activities, for their enrichment of the community. We've got 
two power-packed days of cultural experiences on the 18th and 19th. All of our activities will be held on the campus of the West Las Vegas Art Center and the West Las Vegas Library Theater at 947 51 Westlake Mead. So on the 18th and 19th, uh, it, bring your family. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, on the 19th, the, the, the day of the celebration of Juneteenth, we are starting off the day. We have been able to secure 2,000 pounds of food. We're going to start off by feeding the soul of black folks. And we cannot forget the 18th. The 18th, uh, it's as not as as ebullient as, as the 19th. The 19th, we'll have our we will have a band there uh, to conclude the day uh, from 2 2:45 to, to 4:45. But on the 18th, we're going to have some videos. We're going to do a new video this year on Sarah Ann Knight Prady. We're going to have some spoken word. We're going to talk about the people with the, that that had the businesses on Jackson Street. So our activities on the 18th and 19th will be at the West Las Vegas Art Center Library Complex, 947 West Lake Mead, from 10 to 4 on June 18th and 19th. That's the concluding weekend of our Juneteenth celebration. Well, I want to thank both of you for coming in and speaking and telling us about the activities. I'm very juiced and ready to, uh, to, to be part of this that will be starting this week. But if there's any word that we have not covered or anything that we have not discussed, I would like you to conclude with that information for us. Once again, the website information and also the future of Las Vegas or Juneteenth, Nevada. Well, I'd like to start, first of all, by uh, thanking uh, our director, and the staff of Blue Soul Productions for providing us with the resources that have enabled us to share this information. I'd like to thank uh, Brother Ramon Savoy for uh, being our, our, our host and MC today. And of course, uh, I, I want to thank Ms. D. Evans. Uh, here's a lady, I'm a newcomer to Juneteenth as it relates to my <coughs> active involvement. This woman has dedicated her life to the, the success of Juneteenth, and it's, it's worth the effort. So if you would like to help us in our effort, please contact Dee. will give you the uh, information again. Contact us to let us know if you'd be uh, willing to help us in our uh, production that's coming up June 11th, 12th, and 13th, and June 18th and 19th. The, the theme of our activities this year from the belly of the slave ship, our theme is called the Desert Renaissance. And are these activities have a cost attached to them? It's all 15 activities that we have organized, planned, or in the process of producing of all free and open to the public. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. I was going to say, it doesn't matter if you, if you don't know what Juneteenth is. It's not too late to learn. Uh, share the family histories with your youth and let them know where we came from and help them plan where we're going to be in the future. A man without a knowledge of his history, roots, and culture is like a tree without roots. Marcus Garvey gave us that quote. And that's very significant and profound to what we're trying to accomplish in the National Juneteenth Observance Foundation, Nevada.